Thank you, Zanabit Morgan. I, I, I certainly can't hold that and make remarks at the same time. But I, I got to tell you, I am so thankful that I'm gainfully employed because uh, having uh, heard the stories of Zanabit Morgan and having a chance to talk with him tonight. Listen, if I was competing with them, if I was getting out of school right now today and competing with him, I'd be toast. <laughs> Honest to goodness. So, listen, if you're not uh, if you're not restored and re-energized by tonight, I don't know how to help you because uh, when you look at the room, when you look at the people in the room, you look at the students, and it, this, is, this is about uh, tomorrow. This is about investing in the competitiveness, the future uh, of, a, of a next generation. And it's just so heartening to see the caliber of people uh, that are uh, recipients of these scholarships and all the work that you're doing. And I'm, I'm more interested in talking about uh, about all that you're doing uh, and those in this room because you get it and it's going to take all of us to roll up our sleeves It's not just one company or one person, but it's a it's a deep felt commitment That's going to restore uh, The level of competitiveness for this uh, for this country and certainly for our company uh, I want to thank uh, Voya financial for their sponsorship. I want to thank scholarship America They have been just such great partners over the last four years and we couldn't have done beautiful So thank you so much Thank you so much. And I'm, be, uh, I'm particularly humble to represent uh, General Motors and the men and women of General Motors. I'm so thankful to have some of my colleagues here tonight and have Buick, dealer, Buick dealers and, 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 and uh, a number of our uh, folks from Detroit who have come into town to be here tonight. This, this is a company, and I gotta tell you, I'm so proud to work for them. This is a company that really feels it, gets it, that understands it, that. When you look at the thousands of suppliers that we have, the dealers that we have, and wherever we operate, there is an incredible responsibility that comes with that. And wherever we do business, wherever we sell cars, wherever we build them, we are going to give back to the communities. And this is investment. I don't, I don't mean to go all hallmark on you, because I can tell you there is a very, <laughs> very clear-eyed and cold-hearted look at all this. When you look at people like Zineb and Morgan and the investment that we've made in, in um, the Buick Achievers, we want those people working for us. Where are we going to get the next designers, the next engineers, the next software developers? That's an investment in our, our future, not just theirs, but ours. And again, it's, it's something that the company feels very deeply about. It starts from the top with Mary Barr and this leadership team. Wherever we do business, we will give back to the community. And it's so, it's so gratifying to see, see people and meet people like Zineb and Morgan tonight. It really brings it home uh, in what we're doing. And certainly, all that you're doing out there, I want to thank you uh, for that. It's also a special treat to share this stage tonight with uh, two individuals I have nothing but the highest respect and admiration for, uh, Don Graham and Katie Couric. And uh, I've, I've, I've led a, a somewhat interesting life. And I've, I've sat across the uh, room from Don Graham from a number of editorial boards that I that I did with our CEOs and in a former life, I think it was 25 years or so ago, I was a young staff assistant at the Pentagon and Katie Couric uh, was, a, um, was a defense correspondent for NBC News and she was just getting started. She's aged a lot better than I have, so. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, um, these people are genuine, they're authentic, they care deeply and we're so lucky to have them on our side. So I wanna give a round of applause to Don Graham. <laughs> So when you take a look at what we've done with Buick Achievers, um, ideally, the people that do design and engineer our cars should represent the people who buy and drive our cars. So we're particularly, uh, we feel really, really good that we're uh, providing an opportunity for a number of first generation that are uh, going into secondary, indica secondary in uh, continuing their education. 61% uh, of uh, our recipients are, are women who are going into STEM. Uh, over half are of different ethnic backgrounds. So again, this is an incredible, uh, incredible opportunity for the number of students that we support. And again, we believe that only uh, our industry and the, um, and the country can benefit as a whole with this investment, and that's exactly how we look at it. So. Again, on behalf of the men and women of General Motors, uh, thank you for this honor and this recognition, and thank you for all that you do. Listen, our work's just started. 
and it's going to continue uh, again. If you're in this room tonight, you get it, and you can count on General Motors to also be right beside you and roll up our sleeves. Thank you, and have a good evening. Thank you very much.